Hey guys, it's Mad Matt Wonka here with episode 81 of Mad Matt's video blog. This is episode 9 squared, or 3 to the 4th. Um, and decided to actually do this episode tonight. Wasn't really planning on it, because it's like 1.30 in the morning and I should go to bed. But I did just free finish reading volume 1 of my Narbonic Omnibus, and it was awesome. Because it has, you know, in addition to the Dave conspiracy story... And the, uh, um, the moon story, um, it did also have the, um, uh, uh, a guest art thing, a, a story, short story for the book written by, uh, Shannon Garrity, you know, the author of Nirvonic, but written by Phil Foglio, who is like, you know, almost my definition of a cartoonist. Yeah. I'll believe that. Um, when I think of cartoons, I think of the Foglios. And so that's kind of impressive in my book, and I'm glad that I own a copy of that now. Um, so, there's that. Um, yeah. But here at 1.30 in the morning, I realize that I'm having issues in setting my priorities. Uh, I do not have Wednesday's page done, I do not have Thursday's page done. Um, those will be coming as they come. I don't know. I was really sick on Tuesday. Um, I w went over and hung out at a friend's house and played video games for a bit. And then, uh, got home and threw up. Which my brother had been doing the night before. And ended up sleeping for 15 hours. Which really cuts down on your productivity. Especially when you're forcing yourself to sleep so you don't actually get enjoyment out of sleeping. You know, it's not lazily sleeping, it's... Like, you know, if I don't go to sleep now, I'm going to be up until, like, 3 in the morning and then be really dead the next day. So, I have that going against me today. Um, it was also, like, negative 18 outside today, and that's not fun. And my toes are cold, even though I'm still wearing four pairs of socks. Um, did turn up in the heat of my apartment, but I don't know how well it's working. Uh, I did also make, on Tuesday... I made a down payment to school, which school is going to end up being about three months worth of rent, and my not, that is saying something a lot. I think I'm going to go through with it, though. I don't think I'm going to quit out of my robotics class. I probably should, money-wise and time-wise, and probably education-wise. However, if I can take the class and finish the class and do it, I will vastly improve my GPA, because at the moment, robotics is lying at an F on my score, and, um, sign language for F, I don't know why I keep, like, doing numbers and words and stuff, um, but if I can make it be an A, uh, then, um, yeah, that'll greatly improve my GPA, and I think I'll learn a lot of really cool stuff, and the challenge shouldn't be too hard. It's just I'm probably not going to have a main competitor robot like some people will because I'm trying to use like a smart algorithm to find it, uh, whereas other people are trying to use a quick algorithm. What I want to do is pretty much end up using taking a webcam and a computer and finding a red square in a field of blackness, whereas everyone just wants to follow little white lines like Tron. But the secret to beating the Tron world is to not follow the lines. I look kind of cross-eyed when I'm looking at myself like this. So, maybe I'll look at the camera. I don't know. And I look really cool with the black glow. Do you guys like the black glow? Does the lamp add anything? My face is actually, like, more white-balanced, although there's this weird green thing. And I kind of look like Rasputin, because I'm wearing a dark shirt in the dark. And I can get this glare and go... And pull my hair out in front of my face. I am an undead Russian monk. Which sounds like an awesome D&D character that I'm going to have to make. So, anyway, tomorrow's D&D that I'm totally not ready for, but that's what work is for. And then, um, and I already have one map pretty much drawn. I just need to solidify the encounter. There's going to be little demon things that attack. I'm just not sure how many of them I want to do. I kind of want to make people actually use their healing spells. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's really hard for you guys to see me shrug. Because of the dark on dark. I 
think maybe if I had a bit more light on the background, you know, a bit more closer reflective surface, it probably worked a little bit better. This would be a lot easier for me to set up, especially at 1.30 in the morning. Um, anyway, comic-wise, I do still have to do three comics this week, for this week. Um, one of them's in the middle of paneling, uh, so that shouldn't be too hard. And it does look like there's a lot of people's faces, which are much easier to draw. It's just proportions suck. I hate proportions. I hate anatomy. I hate people's arms, especially if, like, their right arms. Like, if their right arms are normally, like, huge, and their left arms are normally, like, short. So. So bad at it. Wish I was taking, like, an anatomy and drawing class. No, I don't. I wish I wasn't. I hope I'm not going to, because I would be terrible at it. But I should. I'm also thinking of starting a D&D comic. And applying the webcomic principle to it, because I don't know what I want to do in a D&D comic. So I'm thinking of just starting doing it. You know, this would be something that I'm throwing, like, no effort in. Probably hosted on the drunk deck. Let me know what you think about that. So. I think I had too much caffeine at lunch today. So I'm going to make up for it by having my caffeine as soon as I come in at work in the morning. Which is... Eight and a half hours away after school, so that's not shiny, um, luckily I don't have to show any progress in my, um, robotics class, because my teacher still doesn't email me stuff, so, like, the problem with my, like, the robotics class is going to be, like, weighted on both sides, because I've told them that I can only show up once a week, and I'm going to only show up once a week, and if they have any problems with that, I'm going to drop the class, um, but for a robotics class, which is like 100% project driven, you know, unless we're having issues making that robot every single day, we pretty much need to come in once a week to show results. It sounds a lot like, you know, a big engineering company. I have no clue if it actually sounds a lot like a big engineering company. But it's what I think an engineering company should be like. You know, assign people action items, give them a week, have them report back in, see how things are doing. So... That's what I think business is like, or what it should be like. So, um, that's what I'm going to treat it as. And I know, um, in general, the stuff that I want to accomplish by Tuesday, um, I'm running out of time. I do have to spend some time working on it. We'll see. I do want to try and keep Monday to Friday comics. I don't know if I can. You know, I might try for three days a week. I could do three days a week. I've got so much to do. I'm so far behind. I don't know. People should let me know what they think. I know really only Jennifer looks at this, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, I think that's it for me today. This went a lot longer than I really planned on doing. I planned on doing like a 45-second thing. But this is the way things normally go with me. Um, so anyway, I hate... All the attention SOPA has gotten today, and I hope that the strike is over so that people's websites will go back to normal so I can keep getting my cartoon goodness without having to go through the politics. Because I'm pro SOPA. Because I can see past it. Let me explain that real quick. So all those people who, like, randomly saw that I had the words pro SOPA in my title, which I'm probably going to do, actually, uh, can understand why I believe it. It's because I can see past the Dark Ages. You know, so say SOPA people does do what it claims. I think that the government and big business are probably going to be too scared of us after all of this to do more than what they're trying to claim that this bill is to do. You know, shut down BitTorrent sites is, like, really the main big thing. And I can totally see where they're coming from from that because as much as we say, you know, hey... It's not pirated. It's not 100% pirated material. It's 99% copyrighted material. You know, it's pretty high up there, and it's technically illegal in the United States. So we got that going against us. But you know, so first of all, let's going back to my argument. Out of all of the people um, that I inch, you know, follow on the internet, um, Etho and Husky Starcraft are the only two people that I can think of. Oh, that's not true. Golden Tusk and How It Should Have Ended. 
um, those are four people on YouTube who I follow, um, who do stuff that are even remotely, and I guess there's all the funny music people, um, but this is dependent on, you know, but, uh, with Etho, uh, I'm assuming that he can easily get permission from Notch to make videos, which means that no one has grounds to copyright his account, so that's one. Husky Starcraft, I personally believe that Blizzard will probably have special arrangements, arrangements, and I believe people like him and, you know, people, you know, there will be video games where the creators, like, Notch's, Notch and Minecraft, will say, this is okay for you guys to do videos like this. And then everyone's going to flock to those videos. We're going to abandon, you know, the people who, you know, are sticklers about it. And we're going to move away from copyrighted material. Not because we're saying right now, ah, ah, we need to leave, but because we just will. Because... It's going to be the only game in town. When it's the only game in town, that's the game that people play at. And then other people will see that and start doing it. And so being able to make videos like that, um, you know, commentaries and let's plays, are going to become legal. Because that's how some companies make money. And that's how, you know, some companies get public. So I firmly believe that. And then, um, you know... Uh, how it should have ended in Golden Tusk's parody songs um, are parodies. That's kind of what they are. Um, and so, you know, the whole parody is for use thing is a big enough debate as it goes. Um, but, you know, looking around the rest of the internet, uh, or at least the internet that I frequent, I don't really see any, like, I do see some parodies. Yeah, I'll, g I'll give some parodies. Uh, but for the most part, I don't really do anything illegal on the internet. I have before. I've downloaded movies. I've downloaded TV shows. I find it much more convenient to watch TV shows when I have the entire season in front of me. Um, but there are other options that are getting cheaper. You know, I'm acquiring a more and more vast DVD library, and I'm thinking that's really, really helping. In fact, today, interestingly enough, I was just thinking about... Um, getting the rest of the Bond movies and continue watching them and the thought that first struck my mind is going to my local video store and renting them not torrenting them not stealing them from the internet not trying to see if they're on YouTube but going and renting them which is very weird for me because normally I would think of the other things but I didn't so there's that um anyway those are the dark ages that I'm talking about but even if people do get blocked, even if people, you know, even even if all of that happens, any public outcry that we make on certain sites will do it, and eventually will bloom and blossom into a new era of the internet where people will have content that they've created, ideas that flow from their heads to the computer. You know, there's, um, uh, now I, of course, can't think of any references, um, uh, I want to say Writing Excuses did something, uh, did a little section on it, where they were talking with, like, a publisher, and they were asking about fan fiction, and, um, the general consensus, I'm, I wish I could find a quote for this, um, but the general consensus was that fan fiction is great to cut your teeth on, but you can't sell it, you can't give it to a publisher, and so what you have to do is, I think the internet needs to move on, we need to move on from writing fan fiction. We need to move on from writing in other people's worlds and move on to writing in their own. I've not written out loud in other people's worlds. I do have stories that are dancing around in here. I've got a Digimon story that I really want to tell. I've got, you know, I've got a Harry Potter story that pretty much makes fun of the Harry Potter universe. I don't know. It's not a great story, but I do want to write it one day. Maybe. I don't know. Harry Potter is just a very, very convenient setting. Um, Hogwarts is a convenient setting. It has nothing to do with Harry Potter. I don't know why the nerds of the world have convalesced around a jock. That's a different argument. I can do a rant about Harry Potter at a later time. Um, so I do have these other people worlds that I want to do. There are hundreds of books that I read. I read hundreds of books. Thousands of books. And there are plenty of them that I want to see made into movies and TV shows. And I'm probably going to, once I figure, have time and have animating software, 
I'm probably going to try and further those efforts, you know, as parodies and fan-related works. Um, there's video games that I want to make uh, that are, t you know, one of them's a Pokemon video game because it's a new type of Pokemon game that we haven't seen before. And I think it's time, you know, it's just like how Zelda moved from the Game Boy to the N64. We haven't done that with Pokemon, and I don't know why. And so that's the type of game that I want to make. So there's things out there that, yeah, I want to do that are in other people's worlds. But there's plenty of my own original comment, uh, co content that I want to accomplish as well. So that's why I support SOPA, because I'm a visionary and I can see what comes beyond. I know most of you have already left, and I'm, my website's probably under attack right now, and people are probably, you know, hunting for my head on different things, but, you know, I, I'm not adamant about my beliefs, I honestly am not much into politics, I don't really know what's going on, but my basics, my basic principles of belief rely on four basic principles. First, that the government isn't as evil as people think it is. Second, that, um, hold on, I had four. I had four just a second ago. Um, uh, second, um, I guess I'll go with my, the one I knew it was, I was planning for fourth. Second is that humans are amazing at adapting. It's like our key thing. I'm a human. If I can't adapt, I deserve to die. I think that we'll be able to adapt past, um, whatever it is. Third, I think that anyone who spends time, like, honestly, the worst thing that you can do for your mind than thinking about politics is talking about politics. And fourth, I'm tired of hearing about SOPA. Like, honestly, I understand other people's views, but I would prefer not to talk about it, so... I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of hearing the, my news. I'm tired of reading my news feeds and having half of them be SOPA. So, yeah. That's where I stand on this. I hope people can see where I'm coming from. If you argue against me, please leave me a comment below. Try and make it insightful. I know this is YouTube, so it probably won't happen. Anyway, this is Mad Matt Wankel saying, Stay online. I'll see you next time.